The next principle is the principle of interaction between heredity and environment. Now, this principle says that uh, hereditary factors and environmental factors interact each other in various types of development. Since heredity affects uh, physical development to the maximum extent, let us take that as an example. Now, a child's parents might be tall and strong. Therefore, the child has inherited the attributes from the parent through the DNA or through the genes which say that the child also can grow into a tall and strong person. But just by having the genetic information, the child will not automatically grow into a tall and strong person. The child has to get good food, good shelter, good physical activity. Only then the child can grow into the tall and strong person that is possible because of his or her genes. So similarly, if intelligence is a factor that can be inherited and the child's parents are intelligent, then the child also can maybe grow into an intelligent individual. But just by having that type of genes, the child will not automatically grow into an intelligent individual because the child has to have the right kind of family environment, the child has to get the right kind of education. So these are all the environmental factors. So heredity is alone not enough to support various types of development. Environmental factors are also very very important and heredity and environmental factors will interact with each other for various types of development. And this interaction is also called the nature versus nurture debate. That is, nature is nothing but heredity, what we inherit naturally from our parents. And nurture is the kind of environment in which we are brought up, which includes the type of food, the type of shelter, family, education and other factors. So this is the interaction between heredity and environment.